Why so good? Okay, what's going on YouTube? There's some settings that I have to change, but I'll do that later. I'm actually going to review one of my favorite games of all time, which is Crash Team Racing, as you already saw. Hopefully the mic picks up my voice loud enough, but I don't know, we're going to see ourselves. We'll make the necessary edits as we go along, so I'm doing adventure mode, I'm going to pick my character, not picking Crash. I'm picking Cortex either. This dude is buff as all hell. I mean, look at him. Like, just tossing like it's nothing, but I'm not picking him either. Geek Squad. This guy is a tool. Look at this. Tool. That's why no one likes him. I don't know what is he injecting into that. He's injecting flame into a car. That's really smart. He's also a tool. This one nigga right here. Polar Bear is the best character. I don't care who you are, or what you say, or what you stand for. Polar Bear is the best character. Second to Penta Penguin. But he's just a code. So. He doesn't count. Overwrite this file because that was my file that I made originally, but I don't like the way how the old video came out, so this is take two. Now I am aware that this is a rip, so there's some voices, some of the music is missing, all of that. I'm gonna actually edit some things. Should be good. Hopefully my voice isn't too loud now. But <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so let's let's rock and roll. First level. Crash code. Swag. But yeah, this game was a huge part of my childhood. You don't understand. I never had an N64 growing up. So all I had was this and the Dreamcast. And as far as kart racing games go, if you didn't have an N64 and you had a PlayStation, there was no excuse not to get this. Because I think the only other kart racing game besides this was some Disney Jump Off. Don't get me wrong, the Disney Jump Off was a really good game. But considering that that was the only car racing option you had, it was. Uh... So you got Crash Cove. I am upset because I heard that they were making they were making a remake of the first Crash, the PC version of the first Crash, and this was one of the images that was shown. Like an HD version of Crash Cove. It was so great. Taking a long time for this missile to get here. This is better anyway. I got two Aku Aku shields. But I was so mad when they when I told when I found out that that um, HD remake was canceled. It was canned. I'm like, oh, damn. I was actually looking forward to it. Just like, so just like that other game for the N64, instead of coins, you get a Moompa fruit. So, if you get 10 Moompa fruit, you get a supercharged version of any item available. The 
which I can't show an example here because there's no more Uber crates. Whatever. I'm already well ahead of the pack anyway. So that was the first trophy. It is something that really caught my eye. You got a short tank top, short skirt, pantsu. They got big ass eyes and big ass boobs. Look at my, look at my polar bear. So he's like confused as hell. He's like, did I just win? Oh, I won. I won. I won. Bark. That's all he is. He's like, yo, I won. Bark. I think it crashes for sleeping. Screw y'all niggas. But that's why polar bear is the best, cause all the polar bear does is just like, oh I want to bark. The tiger licks his damn paws like a sir. Don't even get me started on the penguin. The penguin just stands there like a G. <sighs> so it's the second stage, roost. Which is also where we gotta fight our first boss. I hated him growing up. I hated the boss growing up. I hated him. But after a while, you learn how to defeat all the bosses one by one. You come to find out easy, easy as me. We'll get to that later. Thank you for doing my dirty work, Cortex. I can't celebrate too ha too well, though. I can't celebrate. That's what happens. It's all in the game of kart racing. But I can't complain because this game is the most fair out of all of them. If this is Mario Kart, blue shells everywhere. But this game is like one of the most fairest kart racing games I've ever played. Go near me, go near me. I dare you to go near me. Also, it takes skill to play this game as well. Like, there's no 500cc, there's no 100cc, there's no 100cc, 150cc, there's none of that. There's no upgrades to your car or anything like that. Son is just um, licking his paw. That's a loose. That's a losing animation. He just licks his paw. When that tiger wins, he hops around like he's on acid. So, like I said earlier, you have to win. I have to win all the races before I go against the big boss. Everything that has a key to it, I can't access it unless if I get a key first. But we don't have to worry about that. That's usually for um, that's usually for like coins and relics, which I don't have to worry about until a lot later.
Yo, every time that that um every time that target knock one thing appears, I get ten stun. I ten stun. Oh my gosh! It's gonna hit me. It's gonna hit me. Oh, it's gonna hit me! Nope. See, see what I'm talking about? Get you on your toes. Now that one, that would have actually hit me. It's an age-old trick that will save your life. Using traps to bait for item cards, or using traps to save your ass from getting hit with this. One of these two is as good. Oh, yeah, I have some pieces. Seriously on the computer, she's probably on porn. Look at that, she's on X2, but she's on X2 right now. Looking up lesbian bandicoot. Wow. This guy who must not be named is catching the mean tantrum. So I'm gonna take the scenic route to the next area while I explain why I actually picked the polar bear. Because to be honest, I always love the polar bear. I'm mad his last appearance technically was in Crash 3 when he was used as hostage bait for Dingo Doll. But he gets his revenge, he stomps the shit at Dingo Doll, which was, I thought, hilarious. But in actuality, his last major appearance was in Crash 2 with, you know, Crash riding on the damn guy. I found that to be sick. So now instead of being ridden on, he's riding over people. Riding dirty. Polar bears making a name for himself. Of course, this streak of animal cruelty continues in Crash 3 when Coco rides on the tiger. What is up with animals riding on other animals? Where's the love? But this is actually my favorite course in the game. I got to be walking. I got to be walking people. Let me check this out. Tony Hawk! The half pipe! I'm having too much fun now. I'm having way too much fun. You can't help it. I can't help myself, I'm sorry, this is a fun course. I'm having fun right now. I am not having fun with the slag, nor in the fact that I'm getting flattened like a bad kid. Always in my dick. But I got a lot of ground to cover. Let's cover it. Screw your TNT. Oh, um, what the heck happened there? 
I don't know what the heck happened there either. He just detonated himself. Okay. Wow, completely left me. Obnoxious lag. Obnoxious Celtic lag. And one more for good measure. In the previous video, I mimicked this kid's voice, but I'm not even going to do that. Just, that shows how much I hate him. You crazy enough to ask me? Are you a bad enough dude to save the president? Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. Bad Polar Bear versus Ripper Rule. At Murder Brawl, be there and be square. And this is why I hate bosses. Beat those two and two bosses like it's going out of style. And it is out of style because I ain't gonna let him give him that pleasure. Give him that pleasure of opportunity. Make something to Stay in your lane. Be glad they're TNT boxes. Later bosses. They could throw chemical vials. They throw nitro cards. They show mercy. The last boss throws everything under the goddamn sun. The good thing about it is, if you're in front, he doesn't throw anything at you. <laughs> so that's the one shot for that way to defeat the boss. Okay, whatever. So he's gonna talk. I want him to talk. Shut up. So now we're going into the second stage, and don't even 
think about getting these. You gotta wait a long ass time. You gotta get five of each gem to even think about doing this stage, the turbo track. You gotta get like 10 relics to do the slide coliseum. This guy will tell you that you need relics to do so. So I'm gonna save my game here. He's gonna tell about saving games. Shut up. I'm gonna save my game here. So I'm gonna cut this video short and then we're gonna part two. Relatively soon. Until then, I'll catch y'all later. I'm gonna enjoy this goddamn adventure time. Stay frosty on YouTube. Signing out.